Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I am back with a mini album project today. And this is a Saw Crafters Baby Boy chipboard album. And I'm going to use a lot of Saw Crafters products today because I recently uh, went to her booth at the Scrapbooking Expo and bought a bunch of new stuff that I wanted to play with. And what I did was I took all of the pieces and I took them outside and spray painted them with a flat white Krylon paint and I'll show that here in a second. And I spray painted way more than I'm actually going to use but I consider that kind of like money in the bank to have already painted items and here they are. Isn't that beautiful? Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to use all these but you know now they're all prepped. And I also got some new gold uh, Krylon and I'll show you here. I spray painted a few things with gold paint and it turned out awesome. The coverage was great. There's the metallic paint. So anyhow, I'll put links to all these products down below because they make great items for mini albums, for your scrapbook layouts and stuff like that. And I also spray painted the album. I took it outside and just, I wanted the edges and all around in the crevices of where it says baby boy, I wanted those edges to be white. And I didn't bother with uh, painting the rest of it because that's gonna be covered with paper. And there are holes punched in the album for rings, but I'm going to bind it. And there are my measurements if you'd like to pause the video and write them down. Um, I did have a subby who asked me how I bound the album. So I'm going to show you just a little bit of what I did. And here you can see I have half inch score on each side and that's what's gonna be attached to the pages. And then I have 3 eighths inch between each page and just make these little channels. And this whole process is called Stack the Deck. And if you YouTube search Stack the Deck, there'll be a lot of better tutorials than what I'm going to show here. I'm just gonna give you a hint um, of how I did it. So you can see there that I cut out to those measurements that I had and I did my scores a half inch on each side. And now I'm gonna use some double-sided, uh, really sticky tape called Score Tape and I'm going to put that on my half inch flaps to um, adhere that to the mini album pages. And you'll see later that then when I cover the pages with paper, um, the paper will overlap down over these flaps and really secure it really well. But I didn't come up with this myself. Um, this is nothing new. I believe it's um, following the paper trail that came up with the stack the deck method to begin with, if I'm not mistaken. So please um, do a search for that. And there, what I'll do is then I will glue these channels together. And so I put some on the spine of each of those channels and then on the edges where it's going to hook to the page. Then I just remove the other side of my tape. and I adhere the page down. I leave just a slight gap between where the crease is and where the page starts, just so it has some room and doesn't bind. And that's gonna be the front of my album. And like I said, that's gonna be covered with paper. And I'm going to use this Pebbles Baby Boy uh, paper, and I've used it before for some layouts, but I still have a lot of scraps left and it has some cut apart uh, cards in it and um, that I can use for embellishing and for tags in my album. So I'm trying to pick out what ones I want to use to cover my pages and what I want for the front cover. So I'm just gonna go through and pull out a bunch that I like. And then I'm gonna use my die cuts to cut out a bunch of shapes uh, because I don't have any other embellishment packs to go with this paper. The only other thing I have that matches this is a tag pack, like a, um, they're like project life cards. There's four by six and, and um, two by four cards, I believe. And I'll show that here in a second, which I also use those as tags in this album. So I'm just deciding what paper to put on here and what to put behind that will show up uh, behind that baby boy. So I go ahead and I pick my papers and I probably should have cut some of this out so you didn't have to see me procrastinating. And I wind up using that for my front cover, the ones with the little words on it. 
and then a star paper to back behind the um, baby boy. So I'm just going to set my thing down and draw a line so I know um, my height and then I measured my width and like I said I want to go and overlap that cardstock that I used for my spine. So I'm just going to follow my drawn line that I had on there and then cut to my measurements. And then I'm going to use a combination of glues to adhere this on. I like to use a glue stick for the edges um, just because then if I use a wet glue it really wants to ooze out the sides and a, and a stick glue isn't that bad. Um, I use stick for this whole front page but on some of my interior pages I use stick glue for the edges and then I used uh, scotch quick dry for the interior of the page. But that way the stick glue just doesn't ooze from the edges as much and so it's a little less messy. So now that I have that glued on I want to cut out where it says baby boy and it's a little fussy to do this but I love the effect and it's only for one page. The rest of the album is just rectangular so you know it's really easy to cut all the paper to fit since it's not a shaped album or anything like that so you know it gives you the time to maybe fuss with this one a little more so I like that and then I'm going to use this light blue and white star paper to back behind the baby boy so I'm just putting a little scotch quick dry adhesive on there and then putting my piece of paper down and I'm just using my bone folder to make sure everything is touching. And so there you go, that's the whole front part of the cover done. And then I just have to cut rectangles for all the rest of the pages. So I go ahead and um, cut this plaid paper for the interior of the page. And I go ahead and I put my stick glue on this side of the page where the cart where the chipboard is and that way my glue stick doesn't um, touch my cutting mat so it's a little uh, cleaner to put it on the chipboard side instead of putting it on your paper where when you hang over the edge it gets your mat and stuff all sticky so there I'm putting the back page on and again I'm going to cover that with the same paper I used on the front you don't have to, but I decided to in this case. There I go, I just put stick glue on the edge. And I put it on the edge of this because I didn't know exactly how far it was going to overlap on the spine, so I didn't want to put glue directly on that spine piece because I wasn't exactly sure where it was going to land. And there you go, that's the back page done and it gives you a nice professional look with it overlapping like that and so it gives you a really nice looking cover. So after I cover all my pages I just go back with this little emery board and so if I didn't get it lined up exactly right um, I just kind of sand it off. And then I took tin can, this Prima tin can ink which is a really really light gray and I'm going along the edges too and again that hides any imperfections if I didn't cut it exactly right. Um, you're not really going to see it. So there was uh, the front cover. You can see I stuck my edges onto the half inch flaps. There's my interior page, my very center page. And there's that other channel. And then after I get all the inks down, I'll go ahead and put all the pages together. So that's the channel that's going to nest inside the cover and I'm just putting a little bit of wet glue to go along with the adhesive I have and just making sure I've got everything right side up because some of the papers you know do read a certain direction. So I just center that and stick that down in the center. So that gives me the four pages 
And then this fifth page, I just take the L, putting a little extra wet glue, and sticking that down right there. So that leaves me a three inch gap, or three eighths inch gap on each side. And there you go, that is how I bound my mini album. And so now I am going to go back and start making some pockets for the interiors of these pages to put the cards in. And I'm just going to use the um, extra little booklet of cards that I had. This is the Pebbles cards that go with that paper. And I used one card for each large pocket, and then I put a little bit of patterned paper at the bottom to make a second little pocket and use some edge punches on it. And then I went to my die cutting machine and I pulled out all these dies to make my own embellishments. Bow dies, scallop circles, I love these label shapes, and then some of those like pinwheel shapes. And that is what I'm going to use um, to embellish it. And here are more of the cards from that card pack and from the cut apart sheet. So I'm just gonna kinda loosely put those through the album just to see how many I need. And I also pulled in a couple Project Life cards that had the right colors because uh, I didn't have quite enough of these 4x6 cards to go through it. So I just pulled some extras in from my stash. Just found colors that worked. Then I'm going to use some of these shorter cards for the smaller pockets in the front. And there are also some tags and things that were in the cut apart sheet. Yeah, here's the little cards and stuff. So I just go ahead and take a bunch of those out to put in these shorter pockets to the front. It was nice to be able to pull out some edge punches. I love that little owl, it's so cute. They have some great um, cards in that card pack. So I'm just gonna distribute those evenly and then uh, do some embellishing with all the things that I cut out and then I will do a flip through showing you um, how the whole album turned out. So here is the final product. You can see that I used um, the little fox was a cut apart from the paper pad and then I used that little sprig to put in the background of like flowers, a couple little bow dies. I used one of Saw Crafter's little pacifiers to put on top of that little pinwheel and just a couple enamel gray enamel hearts on there and it made a really nice little cluster for the front of the album. And then on the inside, I used some of the uh, some of the cut aparts and uh, Saw Crafters albums and some of the or Saw Crafters products and some of the little like pinked circles and scalloped circles uh, for each of the little clusters. So there I was just showing the tag pad again. And then that little tag on the right with the enamel dot on it was one from the cut apart sheet from the paper pad. And I like that because I used a card for that larger, taller pocket, you can see the little boy oh boy and it just adds a little extra wording in there. I used one of Saw Crafter's hearts and put a little bow and an enamel dot on it. There's a pink circle and a um, baby love cut apart from the paper pad. On this side, I used a Saw Crafter's uh, phrase, a scalloped circle, and then some stickers, some really old stickers. You can see even the backing sheet is kind of yellowed. And these were ones from me and my big ideas from 2004. So great to be able to pull those out. I used those a couple places and on the back, but I didn't quite use up the whole sheet. Um, I put on the tags, I did a little bit of stamping on the tags. And then I used a saw crafters, that little onesie on there just to bring a little bit of dimensional product up higher on the page. And the stamps that I used was this from Echo Park. A bundle of Joy, I think, is the name of the thing. I got it at Tuesday morning. Just has some great little sentiments on there. I used some of Saw Crafter's stars to um, embellish this little 
owl card because it already had stars printed on there so I just added a few more kind of dimensional stars on there and I like that that taller pocket says giggles and smiles so that's the second page that we turn in there and again I used um, that was from the cut apart sheet I believe And on this one, I used some washi tape that I had, which is measuring tape. And it's kind of got a blue uh, color to it that matched really well. And so I just used it like a little tab. It's a little pull tab. And there's the tape. I don't know um, who's the manufacturer of that, but it worked really well. It kind of reminds me of, you know, when you measure the length of the baby and stuff like that. And then I used a little raccoon from the cut apart sheet, a pinked circle and one of Sawcrafter's stars. And on the right hand page I use some of the Sawcrafter's clouds at the top of the page and down at the bottom. And it kind of went with this little cloud card that I had. I used one of the rubber stamps on there. I used um, in the cluster there's a sticker that says baby on it and I used one of the little scallop circles and bows that I cut out. And those are the little cards I put down in that pocket. On the next page, I used uh, this cute little owl and then I put one of uh, the bows that I cut out on it. He's so cute. And that's just a, a Project Life card from my stash. Then here are some of the little cards from that tag pad and then this little tag from the cut apart sheet. I put an enamel dot on that and then I used a little saw crafters line another bow on him with an enamel dot. I think that turned out really cute. On the right hand side I didn't put a small pocket on that one because I liked that whole quote um, so I just put that pinwheel and a bird and then I did some stamping on this one with some more washi tape. And on that pinwheel I put a saw crafter's little star and then one of her word fragments at the top of the page. On the next page I've got a few more cards. One's a Project Life card and one's from the tag pad. And I used the um, hot air balloon, one of the bows that I made, and some washi tape with an enamel dot there uh, for the cluster. And I made that smaller pocket really shallow because I didn't want to cover up the quote. So I just put these smaller tags in this pocket since it is kind of a shallow um, pocket or tuck spot. And there's kind of a close up of that. The next page I use that little dinosaur, some of the cut aparts, a pinwheel got some enamel dots. On this card, it's a Project Life card, I just put the little baby bottle with a bow on it. Some more of the smaller tags. And I just made it so you could still, on that uh, taller pocket, you could still read It's a Boy when you pull those small tags out. You can still see the quote. And on the back, I just put a few of those stickers from those that old sticker sheet, just to kind of go along with the quotes that are already on that paper. And then I used from the cut apart sheet the letters baby just to go along the spine. And this is very similar to my baby girl album that I did earlier because it was kind of the same Pebbles collection uh, but just with the baby girl paper. So um, the only thing I was kind of not liking is you can see that very back page kind of sticks out a little bit. And that is because I put the pinwheel too close to the spine. I should have put it farther out. Um, as you can see here, the pinwheel, I put it too close to the interior of the spine so it makes it kind of bind a little bit there. If I would have moved it out towards the outside edge, it, it would sit a little flatter. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're doing your pages. And that is my completed album. So thank you guys so much for watching 
And if you have any questions on uh, any of the products or anything I used here, just leave me a comment below and I will talk to you later. Bye.